Hello, everybody, and let's, uh, welcome to another episode of Let's Play, Su Super Castlevania 4! Ah. Last time, we, well, we went through the, the base floor of, Castleva of, uh, of Castlevania. In this episode, we're going to be heading up Castlevania into the clock tower and facing off against Dracula this episode, and along with Dracula's mini, mini minions. But we only have about, uh, three stages left. Alright, so let's go. And we get the almighty vampire killer. And honestly, my favorite version of the vampire killer song. <laughs> okay, let's reset that. <laughs> that never happened. Oh, yeah. This is my personal favorite version of vampire killer. Oh no, this is, wait, no, this is, this is bloody tears. Is it? No, vampire. This is vampire killer. Wait, no, is it? No, this is di this is Bloody Tears. Sorry. I'm sorry, it's been a bit since I played Castlevania. I... I probably ain't killed for that. <laughs> sorry about that. It's been a while since I played Castlevania. I I'm trying to remember what the one it was. I knew it was one of the two. Uh, I keep forgetting that Vampire Cards are a bit boo But, yeah. Bloody Tears. Sorry. Best version of Bloody Tears. Flippin'! Okay. <laughs> ah! <laughs> there we are. <laughs> the dangling whip move. <laughs> Sorry, again, I got the version wrong, but hey. Still, pretty good version of Vampire to the uh, Bloody Tears. Freaking! Okay. <laughs> Wow, I'm sucking today. It's been a full day, and I'm still and I'm sucking horse than I was than I was yesterday. Okay, that's better. Oh my god! There's this one I think of bloody tears. Think of this version. Oh, what he said? Okay, ow. Oh, get out. No! What he said? Ow, clock tower, what he said? I j after I just said they weren't that bad. Anyways, crawl. In order to avoid those spikes and getting uh, impaled. No. All right, let's start swinging. Whoa! No, freaking. Okay. No. Uh. <laughs> okay, that's what they had last stage be a uh, the thing for getting uh, points. Because this because it's when the game starts being hard again in the classic Castlevania fashion. Oh my freaking what? How was I supposed to avoid that? Sorry. Okay. No. No gun. The wiggle move. What is it? Alright. Nope, nope, no, 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 no,
Here, that's holy water, and it's a stopwatch in the sun. Maybe it's not, who knows? Nope, star. Good grab. There's me. Om nom 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 nom. Uh. Ow. Well, apparently the Belmonts are extremely freaking powerful in canon, like they're stronger than an average human. I think it's an interesting little tidbit that no one talks about. Like the Belmonts being extre extremely freaking physically and mentally powerful. Like, uh... Like, powerful enough to destroy, uh... Like entire armies by themselves. Boom! Oh, what the frick? Get out. You know, there's just hearts in there, so. Quit. Oh, what the frick is this? Ugh. Okay, note to self. Don't accidentally swing into a wall. Got it. Okay. Blood skeleton. Should be to death. Sword skeleton. Would be to death. Okay, I should really whip you back to death. Oh, frick. Okay, well, it's still more health than I have for. But anyways, boss time against... Akmodan the mummy. Akmodan the mummy. Anyways, this is real. Until it uh, it was probably one of the easiest mummy bosses in the entire franchise. So, Keep whipping! And he's dead. The mummy breaks to pieces, which is pretty cool. And down he goes. <laughs> and extra life! Yeah! Anyways, we're on the second final stage. Time. More in Dracula's Keep out of the clock tower. And. Up the stairway. Or oh, actually, up the path. Into the keep. Where Dracula himself sits. Where I. And there's Vampire Killer! There it is! And there's Dulahans here. Will the Belmonts fight me once and for all? For the first time, for the last time. Until Dracula's curse. Well, not until, uh. Until Bloodlines. Actually, no, this, this, uh, canonically, this would be the last time, if, if, this is, if this was a sequel, as the game tried to market itself as, this would be the last time Simon ever fought Dracula. Because... Actually, no, uh, there is a, there, I forgot about Chronicles. Chronicles, technically, is a remake of one again, and it is in just the other, the other, only other time Simon appeared, other than a, uh, what's it called? 
than uh, Castlevania... Well, what is it called? Game that's basically made as a fighting game for Castlevania. Uh, Judgment. Other than Judgment, but does Judgment really count in a, uh, in a game as a, a game of appearance? Because it's literally everyone. It's like Smash Bros. Counting Smash Bros. As, as an next appearance of Captain Falcon. Uh, the next canonical appearance of Captain Falcon doesn't. Well, actually, no. It is ca it is canon actually. It's it because because his appearance is the is what happened between uh, the two Castlevania games. Anyways, we need to run. Ah! Ah! That was cool. And the saw trap. As we go up, there's a little saw blade trap. Oh, we'll keep going up. Okay. Let's uh, undo Steve Steve. Okay, never mind. Okay, there's a saw trap that'll keep going up and will eventually kill us. Got it. I did not know about that. So we have to keep going up. And these staircases also fall, so do be careful. And this is a uh, another theme from Castlevania One. Golems are in there. No longer mud, but hey, golems in general. Ugh. Probably one of my favorite Castlevania enemies. It's like the, I like the golems. They're cool. I think they're neat. No. Anyways. <laughs> okay, two crosses needed for one duel hand. Well, I guess they're screwed then. All right. Was a tiny. Two. Freaking it. Okay. Nope. What's up, girl? Okay, the uh, swing like your life depends on it. No. Okay, I'm about to get killed, aren't I? Okay. Nope. No. 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 Okay. Up here we go. Keep moving. So you don't get destroyed by rising platforms. Can okay, make sure you have enough candles for the next area. Uh, need a oh, hard you can, because there is about three bosses in this stage that you won't expect. Back even two ones that become mainstays, and got even reference in the anime or t anime TV series. Okay, okay, <laughs> my cat is really meowing at me. So what's up, girl? Alright. Alright, we're at the keep. Oh, nope, we're not. Okay. Still more to do. Oh, frick. Okay, I see. At least we need to keep heading to the very far left. And that's the end. I'm pretty sure over there is a uh, big heart, or is it a, uh, a chicken leg? Okay, we don't need that. Anyways, see you in a bit. Alright, I'm back. Academy let out, so she's she's gone. Anyways, time to face the hardest of the two of the three bosses here, Slavra. 
You recognize that name? It's because that name is also the first boss of Symphony of the Night. Who has a who basically will turn can only take one hit at a time. Only boss in the game that does. Also fires exploding fireballs. It does a lot of damage. I think you can duck under them though, which is nice. Yes you can. I did not know that. Okay. Eventually after enough hits, they'll start bouncing at you. Okay, good to know. You can duck under them. Might have to restart this boss. Just this so uh... And there we are. Now it's broken, he'll start attacking you with physical attacks. And land on you. Okay. Ow, they also have that attack. So they can basically charge you. Ow, like this. That's why I consider him the hardest boss of the game except Dracula himself. Because he's very unpredictable. There we are. Phase 2. Ow. And it can do charging moves using its spear like nose. Or face. Oh, frick! Okay, I almost bit. Beat it. Anytime you see that, it's like, okay. Ah, I'm getting destroyed. No! Okay, I jumped over you. Well, it's not much po- Okay, and, uh, you should be dead. There you are. And then he turns to Puff of Smoke. <laughs> Anyways, next boss up. You get some hearts back, so don't worry about it, and some HP. Which will help. Well, it's all your HP, apparently. Okay, then. Nothing there. Anyways, second boss I consider the easiest of the two. Of the three. This one being... Gaibon! Gaibon is a floating purple demon that'll fly around and is severely weak to the crosses. Can he also shoot you with fireballs and carpet bomb you? After a few hits, you will transform. You will die and then transform again. And you'll also start throwing fireballs out and, and like that. But he's dead. Yep, easiest of the, of the three. And he turns to bones. Ouch. He's... He's dead. Very dead. The power of Christ compels you. Anyways, final boss. Of the, uh, of this area. Okay, I actually think there's four. Anyways. Okay, message. Uh-huh. Alright. And here is the final of the three bosses. Death! For the coolest transformation of death in the series, I my personal okay, uh, opinion. And death is another one of the hard ones, doing a lot of damage. But again, weak to the cross. Like everything. And here's his most dangerous attack. He, he destroys projectiles and basically throws his scythe at you in order to drain... my well, sucks you in. You also do that occasionally. But he has a cool hitting animation though. Where he has like a weird like death aura. 
cool. Boom! Oh, oh my body! It's been aside! Ah! And that way behind us we'll build another staircase to the upper level. To the leading to the final boss. And if you get a game over, by the way, you start from the beginning of this, so be prepared. To face up against the secret. Anyways, there is an area over here you want to go to. I think you have to jump. There. Jump. And then crouch. And then you get a full HP and full hearts. Along with anything you need. Make, make this a little easier to fight Dracula or Dracul. Okay, I have no idea to get up, though. Oh, it's a staircase. There it is. Oh, 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 oh. But if you uh, don't have the cross or the, uh, the three times, you get three times from that in a cross. So don't worry about that. Again, this is the... <laughs> but I don't understand why it throws down a chicken at you. There is no way you can use that much chicken to, to heal up. It's a ludicrous amount of chicken. Anyways, time to face up against the ultimate battle. Against Dracula. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Or Dracula. The king of monsters. Anyways, here's Dracula. They'll throw fireballs, and they'll eventually split into three. Throw crosses, they do a lot of damage to him. Hit him in the head. He'll occasionally also shoot pillars of fire. Do not jump over it. Hit the projectile, I see. Oh, frick. The whip does more damage. Oop. Okay, that didn't work. But thanks to Ozzy actual whipping, you can just whip him on the floor. You don't have to jump up anymore. You also throw this projectile, which will, if you hit, will shoot into a bunch of projectiles, but leave meat behind. He needs the only boss fight in the series that heals you. Okay, make this easiest Dracula boss. He also summon these uh, these flame geysers, which when hit will essentially explode. After a certain amount of HP, he will go into second phase, which is soon. Yeah, he's going into multiple phases. He he swaps between them. We're in the fire demon phase. And there's the uh, projectile, and it missed. Okay, it's gone. But here, second phase. Where Simon Belmont's theme will start playing as Dracula falls down. Dracula has no demon form this time, you'll instead just shoot your lightning. Very hard to dodge lightning. That does a lot of damage. Ow. Basically, if you don't react to it on time, you get hit. Alright, I have to restart the boss fight again, which is not fun, but hey. Hey. Okay, I definitely hit Dracula in the face there. How hard do you think, uh... How tanky do you think Dracula actually is hitting this many times with the Vampire Killer? Actually, think about it, it disintegrates uh, demons on contact, so it's probably freaking powerful. To be able to tank this without barely any damage. Okay, more of you. You're gonna shoot a bunch of projectiles and meet a turkey leg. Eat the turkey leg. Okay, get shot and eat another turkey leg. Fire demon phase. Nice of Dracula provided me with the healing items. Okay, ow. Okay, he's going for melee! He's punching me in the face! Oh, you can destroy those. I didn't know that. 
can show the projectiles. You can see it the turkey phase, but hey. It's fine. I should probably start walking away from that. What happens? Okay, second phase. Again. With how th with an actual HP bar. He also, you look at his face, his face is no longer has the flesh or hair, it's just a skull. So he's, he actually is in a demon form. Good ending there. Good. This is honestly a really good boss fight for Castlevania 4. It's ending. Okay, and, and Dracula's almost dead. One more hit! Boom! And he's dead. As the morning sun burns away the unrelenting night, Dracula turns to dust before our very eyes. But, in his final bat form, he stays around for a bit. There is a theory that that is what caught that, that that final bat actually staying around for a bit is what caused the Dracula's curse. This is Dracula's, or not Dracula? Yeah, the curse of Dracula on Simon Belmont. Which then led to Simon's quest. So, which honestly should have been called Dracula's Curse. Well, Dracula's Curse should have been called, like, uh, I don't know, something else. But anyways, let's watch this castle fall! Crumble to dust, Dracula, may you never return. And, that's the end of Castlevania 4. Great game. Uh, one of my favorite Castlevania games I've played. Again, I like the next one we're gonna be playing much more, and I'll be do I'll be having to play that game twice, so that'll be interesting. Uh, but yeah, Dra uh, Dra this game was much easier than other ones. It was basically around the same d difficulty of a Mega Man game, like Mega Man Seven or Six. Like it was, but not bad, but pretty good. As long- and also, if you have the cross, the game absolutely dies. If you don't have the cross, the game is a much harder. But with the cross, the game just implodes. Also, extra lives aren't too bad, because all you do is start at the beginning of the stage. You don't start from the beginning of the game, which is unlike other Castlevania games. Which is nice. No. Makes it a little easier. But, yeah. Now, once again, as we know, Dracula will once again rise from his, from his infernal grave. But, I, if I remember right, after him came the Juiced Belmont, which, uh, which is his grandson, or great-grandson. Juiced Belmont is, a, uh, is the Belmont that focused mo mostly on magic and got magic into the, in basically is the closest to Cypher, which married, uh, which, as we know, married Trevor Belmont. Uh, and then, from Juiced came Richter, which is Richter's great grands uh great grandfather. Which uh and Richter was the one to uh who's the most faint the strongest Belmont, other than Julius, which is the great grandson of uh of Richter, but anyways, or the great 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 grandson of Richter. But yeah. So just a little bit of the bloodline. And uh there's just like you know of uh, Simon's ancestor. Uh, Simon's ancestor was Christopher Belmont from the uh, from Dra from the Dra from Castlevania: The Adventure of One and Two, who's who then who then ancestor was was the direct uh, was Trevor. So we have Trevor. So yeah, pretty cool, huh? Pretty cool, eh? And after. Uh, Richter, who was based the it was the Morris family, who was the who was actually we'll meet next uh, next game, which is uh, uh, Jonathan and Quincy Morris, uh, who then will uh, yeah. Oh yeah, who then will uh, re 
I'll repower the vampire killer whip and then give it to uh, back to the Belmont family. Cause yeah, this then leads into the Aria games, which are freaking amazing. Or the uh, yeah, no, the Aria games, or the uh, the of, or they should say the uh, the Sorrow games. Yeah. <laughs> he grabbed the he grabbed the knife. Oh, you can throw the knife while on the thing. Huh, I did not know that. Maybe yeah, that's one thing that the knife can be useful for. Oh my god, pixel. A literal... That's one pixel. That is one pixel there. Game. Don't think I don't see that. Oh uh... uh, yeah. Uh, next time, we're we heading into the into the Genesis and playing my all-time favorite Castlevania game from what I've experienced so far. Though, one of the hardest. And I will be using save sets for that one, and I'll have to be playing it twice, because I'll be playing it with both characters. Castlevania Bloodlines. Also, the first Castlevania game that was not censored in America. It was a full-on game. In all of its bloody action. Seriously, that game is brutal. Uh, it's blood. Seriously. So, expect some blood. You know, this game had the river of blood, but, like, that was a censored version, and then dripping blood from the uh, title screen. But, hey. I actually like how Castlevania got a little bit more mature over the series, because, honestly, it should. Because it's dealing with, you know, horror icons in, like, in monsters. It should get a little more brutal. Anyways... But yeah, next time, well, I guess we'll see you then. Have a great day. Have a... see you guys then. Peace. Any more? No, see ya. Peace.